Hey guys, um, I'm reading The Monocle Life by Charles T. Tate, um, forwarded by Saulio Rinpoche, I think is how you pronounce it, S-O-G-Y-A-L-R-I-N-P-O-C-H-E, um, but Charles T. Tate, or T. Tate, sorry, wrote the book. Anyways, it's, uh, I guess I, I could get chapter by chapter, but this is what I'm learning, like, I'm not that far actually into the book, but I read his first one, that was actually, like, published, like, in 1986, which was the same genre, but, um, the name of the book itself, I can't remember. Anyways, mindfulness. Ordinary levels of functioning can involve a reasonable amount of politeness and consideration for others. <laughs> Habits of functioning that make life better for all. Okay. Which means we can choose to do things differently and make things easier for other people. Or we can choose to be mindless and not affected to one way or the other. Just do the same things we were doing and continue to do them, not caring who we hurt. Okay. A conditioned way of perceiving the world. R reality is constantly changing, though, and subtle shades of differences in situations are often detected. But it is possible to learn to be mindful in our daily lives, to see, to, to see more accurately and discriminatingly, and so behave more appropriately toward others and toward our inner selves. Which means we could change that. Awakening. There's a Middle Eastern myst mystic and teacher that said man is asleep. By that, he meant we're walking around in our daily lives not paying attention to anything. And think about it when you're driving your car, like, give you a good example. I give the same example, actually. In the mornings, I would step on my cat's tail. I turn around after starting my tea, turn around, and bam, there my cat is, step on his tail. If you know, and he even wrote it in the book. <clears throat> he thinks in his mind that clumsy animal, you know, why would it get under the, the feet of a huge adult? Well, that small animal is not as intelligent as that giant human. So, <clears throat> therefore, I, or I guess he, should take a half a second more to look down, you know, be mindful, look down, on the turn to make sure you're not going to step on your cat's tail. Something that I do. Something that I don't do anymore, though. Um, so, thinking about being present isn't being present. Which means in order to, like, get these practices, like, you could literally list, like, you could take three days full of things that you do and actually take the time to think about it and write them down. And then, one by one, change them. It takes five days to create a habit and seven days for one to stick. Therefore, in seven days, you could change one habit. And that one habit can make you mindful instead of mindless. Um, so, to see the world with eyes as fresh as a child's, but with the intelligence and power of an adult. Freed of our vital energy from blocks erected by old traumas, defensiveness, and habit. Quiet the incessant racket in our minds and begin to perceive who we really are. Be mindful on the deepest levels. Okay. I have anxiety really bad and ADD. And I was a drug addict for 10 years. Only having a few years clean. I was a unable <clears throat> to have a state, narrow life of habit and conditioned perceptions, feelings, and actions that can slowly be transformed into a more vital, more caring, more effective, more intelligent life. I had to learn to do that. And it took more than a video. <laughs> it's taken a couple years. So, how did I do it? One of them is meditation. I wrote down old traumas. I started by, actually I started with habits. And I wrote down, I, I did the same thing I just told you to do. I wrote down the habits. And one by one, I broke them to the point where I didn't think about them anymore. I just did them. I made a more mindful life for myself, um, which included trying to hurt people less, 
I'm trying to think of what I'm saying. I'm trying to think about what I do. I'm a very ser- a sarcastic person. That hurts people. I don't, I don't. I'm not meaning to hurt people, but I do. But um, another one is as far as traumas. I've had a lot of traumas, <coughs> and this is tea, by the way. One way, like, get through it. Meditation of. Okay. Um, if you take as many traumas as I guess you think you have or you have that are affecting your life today, you know, that still affect your current life, write it down right before you go to bed. Think about it. Think about how it still makes you feel. Think about how it affects your life. And meditate on it for like 20 to 45 minutes. Mine varies too. You know, I actually meditate, watch something to sleep. But like if you're on sleeping medication, which I am. Um, I'm sorry, I'm all congested. Um, right, but then take your sleeping medication. Then, you know, write that down. Then meditate. And then more likely you're going to fall asleep like during or through. I actually watch about 15 minutes of sleep before I pass out, but that's, like, in between everything else. I feel like, you know, it still works for me. It still works for me. There are major traumas in my life. You know, of course, I haven't been able to work through. But, you know, it's been three years since I split up with my ex, and I've done a lot of work on myself. I took literally a year, didn't speak to anybody, to work on myself, to think about who I was, who or who I am, because who I was doesn't exist anymore. Like, he took that from me. Like, the person that I was that everybody loved, he took. He took that. And I accept that now, you know? And I just realized that more than anything, I need to find out who I am. So, I took that journey for, like, I think it was a year and, like, four months before I spoke to anybody. But it's still been three years since I've been with anybody. I've been single and celibate. So... <clears throat> but if you write down your major trauma, think about it, meditate on it, um, it will work its way in through your subconscious will actually take over and maybe even recapture the event and help you to work through and move on it. Okay, that's important. Um, I got a therapist. I do meditation. I read. I'm making these videos as a part of it. But really, I just want to be helpful. Like, to be honest, you know, the drug addict thing. Like, being able to be a drug addict and know that you can live beyond, like, that addiction means a lot. A lot more than you would ever know if you weren't a drug addict. Um, so, I started the channel, in essence, to, I guess, help people tell stories. You know, uh, I'm a writer. Another thing about me, I am a journalist. I'm a writer. I'm in the middle of an autobiography and a screenplay at the moment, and then I write to make money. So, I write actual articles. I guess I'm more of the journalist on that side, but writer on the other. Um, you know, and I know that, like, everything in that book will out me anyway. It's about everything. But, um, these things do work. And, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, this book has a lot more babble then it does actual fact because he babbled a lot in between. He didn't his other book as well. Um, but he has good points. And I, if he practiced what he preaches, which how would he come up with it otherwise? I don't know. But then it's possible to have a mindful life. I've changed a lot of things in my life to make them mindful, I guess you could say. And... Things that I now feel good about, better about. But, um, if you guys want, like, to ask questions, um, make comments, please keep positive. I want a nice channel. <laughs> um, let's try to keep it positive. Um, I try to surround myself with positivity now and positivity only. Um... You know, there's no doubt there's going to be a few people on here to make negative comments, whatever. But somebody at least comment. Like, I've had 39 views on the last two weeks' videos. And not one subscriber, not one comment, and only one like. Really? And I haven't told anybody in my personal life about the video. So you guys are just funding me. 
or seeing me or I don't know if you're just not liking me. I don't know. Let me know. I guess you're like, you know, maybe you should know the station or channel, you know, comment that below. Let's just try to keep it like more on the positive side. Anyways, I have got to be somewhere. So I am going to say goodbye to all. Plus, I promised myself that I would not get past 12 minutes on a video, and right now I'm still keeping under 11. Um, the next video I do is going to be a shopping haul. Um, I'll be going shopping, you know, this weekend, and then I'll do the haul probably Monday. But that's going to be the next video is going to be a haul, so, you know, those are always good, right? You guys like to see stuff that I bought, stuff you want to use, whatever. But, um, <sighs> it's going to be a long day. Anyways, bye dolls. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, give me a like, thumbs up. I don't know. Bye.